Today we're going to be talking about systems of equations, and to me, systems of equations is where algebra really begins, because it's where you really start to deal with real-life situations. And the systems of equations basically are, um, you have two lines, like a red line and a green line, and you're trying to figure out where they intersect. And it seems really abstract, but you deal with it on a regular basis every day in life. Um, especially in the business world. For instance, supply and demand. The more you have, let's say you have a whole bunch of corn that you're trying to sell, right? And you have so much of it, and everyone has so much of it that it's not in very high demand. So the price goes down. And, and what you're trying to find is where does supply meet demand? These are the kinds of questions that you're trying to figure out when you're dealing with systems of equations. And the way, usually in beginning algebra classes, the way they put it to you is they'll give you two equations. The black line but between the two is separating the two equations. I have written it out with algebra tiles. So on the top equation you have two x's and two y's. So it's 2x plus 2y equals, and on the right side we have 6. So it's 2x plus 2y equals 6. And the first thing you have to do is isolate one of the variables. In this case I'm going to isolate y. When I say isolate, it means I'm going to get rid of the x's on the left side of the equation by adding in two negative x's. Because a neg two negatives plus two positives equals zero. And whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you also have to do to the right side of the equation. And those, the, those positives and those negatives, they just cancel out because negative two plus positive two equals zero. And on the left side of the equation, all we're left with is two y's. So we have now we have 2y equals negative 2x plus 6. We have two y's, and what we want to do is split each of the y's up in, into their own group so, so that they're each by themselves. We want to get y by itself. That's the point of, this, of the first part of doing systems of equations. And then you have to, on the right side of the equation, you have to split up the x's, the negative x's, and the 1's um, into two equal groups as well. So first we split up the two x's, and they each, there's, um, to put them into two groups, we each put 1 in each group so that they each have equal groups. The point is to make them have equal groups. And then we split up the 6 in the two equal groups, 3 and 3. And what we come up with is we know now that y is equal to a negative x plus 3. We know that y equals 1 negative x plus 3. So now we can substitute into the bottom equation. The bottom equation um, has the same x's and the same y's, and we know what y equals. So we take out the 1y, and we put in what we know it equals in terms of x. So we take out the 1y, and we put in negative x plus 3. And then we take out another y, and we do the same thing. We put in another negative x plus 3. And then we take out the, the other y, and guess what we put in? That's right, negative x plus 3. So now we've gotten rid of all the y's, and, we, and now we know what it is in terms of x. And let's rearrange it so that it's easier to see. And so now we have three positive x's and three negative x's on the right side of the equation, which can just cancel out, because a negative one plus a positive one is zero, and all the zeros just cancel out. And we're left with three x's, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine on the left side of the equation. So let's get rid of all the left side of the equation. To get rid of them, we put in negative ones to get rid of the positive ones. So we put in nine negatives to get rid of the nine positives. And like I said before, whatever you do to the left side of the equation, you also have to do to the right side of the equation. So I'm going to put in nine negatives on that side. And all the, all the negative ones and positive ones, they cancel out to zero. So let's burn them out of the equation. That's because now all we have left is 3x equals 3. And if we split those up into three equal groups, we find that x equals 1. All right? So now we know that now we know for sure what x equals. x equals 1. And what we can do now is substitute um, in, the, in, in the above equation where y equals negative x plus 3. We can substitute in what we know x is. But since it's negative x, we have to put in um, a negative 1. Because the, the negative, we know that a positive x is 1, so we also know that a negative x is negative 1. And again, we have a negative 1 and a positive 1 right next to each other on the top of that equation up there. And so those just can cancel out because they come out to 0, and we know that y ends up equaling 2. And that is how you solve systems of equations using substitution.
the first step is to do the top equation and get it so that y is or x is by itself. And once you know that, you can plug y in terms of x on the bottom and you figure it out using algebra tiles. And now we know that y equals 2 and x equals 1. And that is your introduction to systems of equations using elimination.